Hey guys, welcome to the Vectorize. My name is Jonathan. If you don't know me, I'm Illustrator and I'm here to teach you everything related to Affinity Designer. Today, I'm going to talk with you about the Shape Builder, if Affinity has Shape Builder tool. And I'm, I'm going to show you in a very practical way how we can use this tool that we have. Okay, let's get started. So guys, starting here using Adobe Illustrator on my screen, as you guys can see, I'm going to show you what is the Shape Builder in case that you don't have an idea at all about it. I'm gonna insert just some shapes, all right? Primary shapes, a rectangle, it can be circle here, ellipse, and a star. So basically, the shape builder allows you to merge and do things automatically just by holding the click. How it works? I'm gonna select this icon shape builder. Okay, as you guys can see, there's a preview about what this can do. Click here, holding out, you can subtract. If you just click and drag, it's gonna merge. Nice ways to use that. I really think that it's very nice. It's like a subdivide on Affinity where you can simply subdivide and then delete the assets. So this is how basically you can uh, use Shape Builder. It's a very nice tool that, you know, Affinity really miss this kind of tool, but on Affinity we have a tool that works in different way. Let's show you how it works. Now here on the Affinity Designer, I'm gonna just select and insert these shapes as you guys can see. I'm gonna insert three shapes like that. And then, of course, if you want to use the shape builder, it's not possible just by clicking, you know. Then we have the basic operations that you can just click to add, to merge them. As you guys can see, these three shapes that we did, the ellipses, has become one. Then if I hit here by selecting these two shapes, click here, it's gonna subtract and etc. Others we will do this basic operation. But this is not something that we want. We want something that is works like shape builder. To do that, I'm going to select all of these three shapes again. If you select here in layer and click here, create compound. Basically, the create compound will make these shapes indestructible, which means that you can edit them like I'm doing, and then click on here in this icon. You can simply let's say subtract and change the shape as you want so if you want as well to create another shape here let's say that i want to insert a star over here all right click here again in this icon you can click subtract and after that you you can be able to change all this color here that we have as a single shape all right so this compound this name here the compound it is our main shape all right so i suggest you always to make backups like all right i have two shapes in case that you convert to curves once you convert this to curves we will not be able to change as we did previously all right so there's a huge difference between this shape and this one because this is editable and this is not all right so i want to bring uh let's say a discussion here because many people really want to see this future you know the shape builder here on affinity designer you know as soon as possible but we need to understand that affinity is not adobe this is the first point that you need to see because there are many people complaining about oh adobe studio has this tool but affinity doesn't have it really depends about each person you know in my case i don't use this kind of tool at all but of course for logo designers this would be a game changing and now i'm gonna show you the way that i would use if i don't have the shape builder all right here my screen on a fin designer so guys basically if i just insert here text i'm gonna insert j text and then look at this the way that people would use the shape builder of course they usually add shapes over the design here and here and then basically they, they just drag and drop the shapes like we saw previously that case guys if you select all of these shapes i'm going of course convert this j you know this shape here to curves select all of these curves and then hit divide after you hit divide your shapes are gonna be separately right so basically i can select here and delete 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 here and delete here there you go basically we got a shape builder here because i can simply add click here to add and it is together i can select this both shape click here and top and it's gonna add i wanted to give this let's say a different 
aspect a gradient over here i'm gonna change this color a little bit here here as well i'm gonna change let's apply this color here for now so basically you can add and use the shape builder in your finish designer by using the divide tool and again i'm gonna just add a circle over here as you guys can see and then look at this you can click here divide and then delete what is around it or if you want let's say okay john but i don't want to do it that way i wanted to add a color here inside what you just need to do it is to drag this shape inside of this curve and then you can change the color as you want so basically i need to be very honest with you the way that i usually would use the shape builder here on a film designer it is by selecting the shapes and click on divide right operation as you guys saw on here and also by dragging the rectangle inside of the shape to make the clipping mask sort of this is how i would use that of course i need to tell you again it would be a very nice to have the shape builder but this is not going to make you all work much better no it's not the way that it works it's not a tool that is gonna make your work better but yes gonna make it faster right? i hope this is very clear about it and uh that's all for now see you in the next video and bye bye <laughs>